sa aklat na Luke, chapter 7, verses 18 to 35. Ang ganito po ang sinasabi. The disciples of John reported all these things to him, and John, according to his disciples, to him, sent them to the Lord, saying, Are you the one who is to come? or shall we look for another? And when the men come, had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you, saying, Are you the one who is to come, or shall we look for another? In that hour he healed many people of diseases and floods and evil spirits and of on many who were Blind, he bestows sight. And he answered them, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, and the dead hear. The dead are raised up, the poor have good news preached to them, and blessed is the one who is not offended by me. When John's messengers had gone, Jesus began to speak to the crowd concerning John. What did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? A man dressed in soft clothing? Behold, those who are dressed in splendid clothing and live in a luxury are in the king's court. What then did you go out to see? Yes, I tell you, a prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. The, this is he of whom it is written. Behold, I send my messengers before your face, who will prepare your way before you. I tell you, among those born of women, none is greater than John, and the one who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. When all the people heard this, and the tax collectors too, they declared God just, having been baptized with the baptism of John. But the Pharisees and the lawyers rejected the purpose of God for themselves, not having been baptized by him. What then shall I compare the people of this generation, and what are their, they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to, the, to one another. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We sing a dirge and you did not weep. For John the Baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine. And you say he, was, he has a demon. And the son of man who came eating and drinking and you say, look at him, a glutton, a drunkard, a friend of tax collector and sinners, yet wisdom is justified by all her children. This is the word of God for the people of God. That's right. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for this wonderful time that you have given us. We gather together, God, to thank you, to praise you. You are your God, and we do hear the word preached. Lord, we pray that we the Holy Spirit of God, luminous, we must set up on one. We must set up on one. We must set up As we hear the word of the Lord, which may uh, the Holy Spirit minister to us and you glorify us. Glorify us. We pray in the name of the Lord. Yes, this is Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray in the name of the Lord. Happy Mother's Day po sa bawang uh, ina uh, na nandirito sa ating ngayon. No? Praise God sa kabila ng mga maraming sakripisyo no? ay nandun yung uh, patuloy na kalakasan at pagkapala ng Panginoon sa bawang ito sa atin. So yung pong ating title, I'm dealing with God. Kung 
sa inyo yung ating pasahe ay mahaba po. Ibalit, naiksi lang po yung uh, preaching. Because of Jesus, we always have hope. No? Dahil sa ating Panginoon sa Panginoon sa Kristo, tayo ay mayroong pag-asa. But sometimes, a heaviness settles doon po sa ating mga puso. Question about God and question about sa ating mga sarili. No? Drug down our faith. Nahatak po yung ating ibang palataya. No? Doubt starts to drag us under yung pong takot. No? Creeps in behind the doubts. No? Uncertainties dims the light of hope. Darkness seems to engulf us and suddenly we feel na terribly tayo po ay nag-iisa. At marami po sa atin yung mga naka-experience ng mga ganitong sitwasyon. No? Perhaps it is because we come to a horrible discovery na ang buhay ay hindi fair. No? It doesn't seem like yung daw everyone is treated equally. No, hindi equally yung pagtrato. At yan ay na-witness natin, lalo na yung mga kapatid natin na nasa uh, nagtatrabaho sa mga tahanan. Even sa mga ibang uh, work natin <coughs> ay natatrato ng pareho. No? Nang daw po yung hardship, Unexpected death or a disaster seems to lack a person or, or being. Hindi natin uh, expect mga bagay yung mga things sa ating mga buhay. Perhaps yun daw ating pangapanalangin na ating paulit-ulit na pinapanalangin. Alam natin it's God's will according to scripture. But Walang nangyayari. No? Agad na lang, ipinapanalangin. But sometimes, I may question God. No? Bakit ganito? Ano yung uh, uh, dahilan kung bakit hindi natutukor yung ating mga panalangin? No? We wonder about God's goodness. At sa panahon daw na tayo ay mahina, no? I, ay sinasabi natin na nagkikir ba yung Diyos sa bawat sa atin? <clears throat> we try to keep up the church routine. We are going to church every Sunday or before every Friday. But something just isn't right. Arabang ang mga bagay ay uh, hindi matuwid. Yung mga ginagawa natin ay banwala. No? Should we be afraid of our question? No. Because sometimes in the depths of doubt, we make our greatest discoveries of God greatness treasure. Nalidiscovery po natin yun sa kanila ng ating mga pag-aalilangan yung great treasures ng Diyos. Almost all of the heroes of the Bible at one time or another despaired in doubt. Si Abraham, si Job, si Moses, David, si Jeremiah, at marami pa pang iba. At even yung ating forerunner of faith himself face distorted down uh, dito sa ating pasahe. Just pronounced man was made by the angels. No? Yung pong kanyang conception was miraculous. Yung pong kanya ama, prophesy, even yung kanyang pangalan, yung pangalan ng John, ang ibig po sabihin, Yahweh has shown favor. No? Natalaburan yung istorya kung ating nabasa yung ating Bible sa uh, ito po he's pointed to his yung, yung pong si John doon po sa kanyang mission 
He was God is still keep our at siya po ay hinubo o nahubo sa init ng disyerto. No? Ito po si John. At then, sinubo siya doon sa mga unbelieving heart of the nation of Israel. No? Kagaya din po ng maraming mga propeta. No? But John found himself in dark night of soul. Battling despair is for runner doubt. Yung pong ating basay, 7 chapter of Luke verses 18 to 35, isinulat daw po ito ni Luke to teach believers that God uses uncertainties to develop faith. This comfort to strengthen us and not meeting our expectation to develop our maturity. At yun po yung tatlong points na ating uh, pag-aaral sa ating pasahe. Yung po sa verses 18 to 23, God uses our uncertainty to develop faith. That pagdating po sa 24 hanggang 28, God uses discomfort to develop strength. At yung po muling verses mula 29 hanggang 35, God uses our expectation to develop maturity. At nasa 7 chapter na po tayo. At marahil ay mga chapter 1 hanggang chapter 7 verses hanggang verses 17 ay medyo uh, makalimutan na natin. At ito po yung overview nung pong ating book of Luke mula chapter 1 hanggang sa ating chapter. Yung pong first section of Luke's gospel mula chapter 1 hanggang chapter 4 verse 13 he calls us to believe that Jesus is the Messiah who fulfills the Abrahamic and the Bible covenant. The first step of belief is to repent of one's sins chapter 3 through the sacrifice Sacrificial death of the true Son of God who has the power to defeat the enemy in every area of human life. Yopam Yangang chapter 4. And then the second section in the Gospel, uh, Sabi ko ni Luke, no? Luke revealed Jesus' ministry in Galilee, chapter 4 hanggang chapter 9, verse 50. At mga niya. Powerfully contrasting belief and unbelief in the series in a series of events. Yung pong unbelief of the Nazareth synagogue at yung contrast with the faith of the Capernaum synagogue. synagogue. So after that, Jesus' first disciples followed him in faith to chapter 5. No? The religious leaders unbelief is offended when Jesus forgives sin. At pagkatapos, nakita natin yung response ni Levi. Levi's response of faith nasa chapter 5 pa rin po yun. In counterbalance, by the Pharisees and belief and anger when Jesus died, isala po siya, doon sa mga sinners. Chapter 5 pa rin po yan. So again, the Pharisees and belief and Sabbath our 12 disciples appointed by Jesus in faith as a chapter 6 in the book, no? and um, verse 16. At uh, makikita rin po natin doon, mula sa verse 17 ng chapter 6, yung Sermon on the Plain, Jesus lays out the blessing of faith and the words of unbelief. Then, yung pong Christ-like integrity, Christ-like character at Christ-like stability ay nasa chapter 6 pa rin po yun, mula sa 37 hanggang 29. And then, to illustrate greater faith among those uh, outside Israel and Jesus' mission to save all nation, ni demonstrate po ni Luke yung kamanghamanghang palanampalataya nitong Gentile Roman centurion. 
Don't sa chapter 7, 1 to 10. At yung pong Jesus Gracious Resurrection Power for a widow nung pong nakaraang Friday, 7, 11 to 17. At pagdating po sa ating pasahin, in shocking contrast, is the doubt of John Baptizer, the great herald of the coming Messiah. Yung pong first point, God uses our uncertainty to develop yung pong faith. So si John po ay nandun siya, no, desperado, dun sa kulungan ni Harry Herod, no, Herod Antipas. At alam po natin yung istorya ng isang book. Chapter 3, verses 19 to 20. He begins to have doubt about Jesus' identity. Pagkat na po yung ina-expect ni John doon sa uh, ministry ng ating Panginoong Kristo. The doubt seems to be brought on by news of Jesus' ministry. The expectation niya ay kaiba doon sa ministry ng ating Panginoon. Why is Jesus not fulfilling the messianic task of overthrowing the kingdom of this world and establish God? So, sagsin po si John, kanyang mga disipulo, ang tanungin ng ating Diyos Kristo kung siya na ba yung inihintay na darating. At yung pong verse 19, magkikita po rin yun, yung The Coming One. At ito pong title nito is for the Messiah. The same pong word na ginamit doon sa Sekaraya, verse chapter 9, verse 9. Sabi po ron, Your King comes to you, righteous and having salvation. Then the forerunner of Messiah is afraid of failure. Now, expect po ni, ni John is to overthrow yung Romans. No? Because yun po yung kagalaman mo. No? They are waiting for the king no, na magliligtas uh, sa kanila. <clears throat> Though John is concerned <coughs> Uh, sa isi ni John, no? uh, nagsubog pa po ng mga uh, mensahero sa tamang mensahe. Was John sinking into hopelessness and despair in the jail cell? No? Desperado ba siya doon sa kanyang kinalalagyan? O di kaya ba yung kanyang mga disipulo ay nagkwento ng mga kwento patungkol sa ating Panginoon Kristo, talihis dun sa kanyang inaasahan? At ito po yung nagkaroon ng uh, beat yung daw dito kay John. John's question is actually comforting. Comforting daw po yung question ni John. If a man of such great commitment and faith can have doubts, we need not to overwhelm at our own uncertainties. No? Kung si John ay nag-doubt, ay pa kaya na no, uh, uh, hindi ganun nagkagaya ni John. No? And then, yung daw John, yung daw question ni John is also a warning. Mabalak sa bawat isa sa atin. No? John made the mistake of expecting Jesus to act as John supposed he must. Yung iniisip daw ni John na gagawin ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo ay hindi yung, kan hindi yung kanyang ina-expect. No? <clears throat> but sinasabi po ang ating uh, Aside, let us never suppose that God must limit Himself to act kung paano daw yung ating iniisip na siya ay mag-act. Let's not limit God. 
we must adjust to what God is doing. Tayo yung mag adjust kung ano yung ginagawa ng Panginoon. Hindi yung Diyos ang mag adjust sa atin. Because we cannot limit God kung ano ang nais niyo gawin. And we know that He is the omniscient God. He is the omnipotent God, a sovereign God. He knows everything and He is in control of everything. At mapapansin po natin dito, no, nung si John ay mag-doubt, uh, uh, no? when John, nandun po yung pag-aalimlaman sa kanyang isip, sa kanyang puso, John went to Jesus with his doubt. No? Too often daw, madalas daw sa mga tao, kapag nagsimula silang mag-doubt o mag-alimlaman, they turn away from the Lord. Ganon daw po yung madalas na ginagawa ng tao. They don't understand what is happening. So, ano yung ginagawa nila? They walk away. Hindi nila maunawangan. At sila ay uh, nag-walk away. In times of disappointment and troubles, they conclude that God has failed them. So they turn in another direction. Ganun po yung ginagawa nila. Nagahanap ng ibang magbibigay ng kasagutan o solusyon ng kanilang alinlangan at mga katulungan. John took the wiser course. Instead of turning away, he turned to the Lord. Siya ay nangbalik uh, sa Panginoon. Sa katulungan daw, John was not wrong in his teaching. He was wrong in his timing. The timing. Now, there will be a day when Jesus will come as a judge over all the earth forever. For the time being, Jesus has come to provide a way of salvation for anyone who would put their trust in Him. Yung po yung pagdating ng ating Panginoon Kristo to provide salvation to those who embrace Him who, who uh, yung pong uh, maniwala at sumampalataya sa Kanya. The Lord will judge the world but that time is still yet to come. Yung po ay darating yung time na idadjudge niya yung sanglipan. And those are verse 32. Nakita po rin mo that Jesus is gracious to John. He did not lecture John. Jesus' response is designed to redirect John's expectation. He points to his demonstration of power, his healing, preaching, at inirefer po niya yung ating scripture reading na mula dun sa Isaiah 61 verses 1 to 3. Jesus' point is that the Messiah has arrived. Dumating na ang Messiah. No? Something he already announced, na-announced niya po dun sa sinagog, Nazareth Synagogue, no, doon sa Luke chapter 4, verses 17 to 19. No? And Jesus' mission is not to conquer the Romans, but to conquer sin and Satan and win the Romans and our nation to himself. Jesus does not criticize John for having now. Hindi po kinriticize ng ating Panginoon yung doubt po nito ng si John. Sa katunayan daw ay makikita natin yung opposite. <clears throat> Jesus gave John's evidence to strengthen his faith. He performed some miraculous miracles and told the messengers to tell John kung ano po yung kanilang nakita. No? Jesus didn't simply pagkatapos ni siyang tanungin at sinabi niya, oh, ako nga. No? Hindi po sinabi ng ating Panginoon yun doon sa mga mensahero ni John because he pointed John to the evidence. Eh, Kinoin po si John 
doon sa evidence na yung Messiah ay dumating na. Yung pong binasa natin kalina yung sa scripture reading. He turned him to the scripture. Jesus knew that John would be reminded for Isaiah chapter 61. At sabi po ng verse 1, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. <clears throat> Alam ko na ang ating Panginoon sa Kristo no? na pakikita ni John no? sa pamagitan ng pasahe at marilimay siya kung ano yung prediction o yung hula sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo. And then as be one, we have seen na ito na yung hinihintay nila. No? At Napansin, napansin po ba natin yung graciousness of Jesus when he hears of John's doubt? Kung babasahin natin yung pasahe, napansin po ba natin yung graciousness ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo? Yung po yung kanyang karakter. He is not interested in Islamic or to criticize po yung bawat isa sa atin, even John, sa kanyang doubt. He is interested to pointing us to the scripture and to his work in our lives as a reminder that he has come to save those who want to believe but are afraid they need help in their unbelief. So Jesus uses the uncertainties of life to develop faith to some yung pong mga diagnosis no, yung mga sakit na na-diagnose sa atin o di kaya yung mga bills na dapat bayanan no, kung meron kang business no, yung mga business opportunity mga kaibigan na hindi gumagawa ng mga uh, tamang act no? o di kaya naman ay nakanggap tayo ng mga a letter of uh, layoff yung notice ng layoff no? at ang mga bagay nito sabi nga God does not create suffering but He opens, uses it to develop our faith if we like John have any inclination to follow Him kapag yung dumating yung mga bagay na ito sa ating mga buhay kanino tayo uh, gumabalik Si John ay, he turned back to the Lord. And the Lord pointed down to the scripture. Sa atin ba, kapag dumarating yung mga bagay nito, na-diagnose tayo ng matinding karamdaman, na tanong mga uh, sitwasyon na meron tayo, kanino tayo bumabalik? Bumabalik ba tayo sa Panginoon? Binabasa ba natin yung kanyang mga salita? We will find answers. Those salita ng Panginoon to the help of the Holy Spirit. At napakabuti po ang halimbawa ni John doon sa ating nakita dito sa pasay. At meron daw magandang principles na makikita rin namin dito. When in doubt, look to the scripture. We should turn to the Bible not to find some text to prove we are right. No? We should turn to the Bible looking for truth and understanding. Huwag daw tayong tumungo sa Biblia at hanapin yung mga pasahe na mag-prove na tayo ay mag-prove. But we should turn to the Bible looking for the truth and understanding. No, yung daw ating job is to listen to who God is rather than what we want Him to be. We are all prone to misunderstanding what God is doing. Perhaps it is why our Savior comes, God blesses those who are not dependent 
by me, sabi po dun sa verse 23. Blessed, are, blessed is the one who is not offended by me. No? Jesus blessed those who are able to set aside yung kung kanila mga personal agendas and expectation in favor of God's greater plan. Yung kung word dito ay iskandalizo means to cause to stumble or fall. A Messiah coming with healing and reconciliation in an obstacle, is an obstacle dito po sa mga Jewish belief is not doing in the way they expected or wanted. Hindi po uh, aparehas yung in-expect nila o yung inanayas nila yung ginagawa ng Messiah ang dumating. Sabi nila, how could the Messiah come and not take over? How could he leave his people under the oppression of the nation? At sabi po, blessed are those who stay unoffended. When God begins to deal with them, those who do not stumble over the mystery of God's dealing po sa kanilang mga buhay. Makikita po natin si Job. Job suffered yet he stayed faithful. Anatili po siyang taba. Si Joseph. Joseph the dreamer. Nagbata po siya ng unjust treatment. Subalit siya po ay patuloy na namuhay ng walang mga inanakit sa kanyang puso. Si Hosea. Yung nabasa niyo yung aklat ni Hosea. No? Hosea continued to walk in obedience even yung kanya pong asawa ay hindi faithful sa kanya at iniwan sila. Si Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul prayed for relief from the thorn in the flesh. But in the end, submitted to the Lord's work. Ang sabi po ni Apostle Paul dun sa 2 Corinthians 12, 9, His grace is sufficient for me. Blessed are those who lead with an answered question, who rest in the little they can see, trusting God for that they cannot see. Yung po daw yung mga pahalan. People today stumble over Jesus because they think they shouldn't have any problems and struggle sa kanilang mga buhay kapag sila ay sumunod sa ating Panso Kristo. Yan po yung mga inisip ng iba. Kapag sila ay sumunod sa ating Panso Kristo, wala nang problema, wala nang struggle. So they stumble kapag hindi naganaw sa kanilang expectation. <clears throat> Others stumble over the teaching of Jesus that calls us to obedience, repentance, and surrender. They don't want a Jesus that requires them to change. In the kung iba ay stumble over the narrow mindedness of Jesus in telling us that the only way to heaven is by embracing Him as our Redeemer and our Lord. May stumble na po yung iba kapag sinabi ng ating Panos Kristo na siya lamang ang daan, ang katotohan, at ang buhay, walang mga paroon sa Ama, kundi sa pangunitan niya. In each case, the people doubt because He is not what they think is should. <clears throat> what we fail to see is that who Jesus really is is so much better than what we wish he would be. So Jesus encouraged John to listen and learn. He called him to trust what he knew, not his personal expectation. So, yung kong uh, una sa atin is God uses yung pong uncertainty 
sa ating mabuhay para ma-develop po yung ating pananang malatay. And second, God uses discomfort to develop our strength. So makikita po natin doon sa verse 24 hanggang uh, 26 ng verse 7 yung pong salitang winds way by the wind. Yung kung daw image na to is from the Proverbs no, referring to something fragile, undependable, notorious, notorious to weak and easy this way. That magbabasa din po lang yan sa 1st King, sa Isaiah, at sa Ezekiel. John is a man of conviction. Not a spineless yes man. Kapag mali, nasabihin niya ng mali. Hindi siya yes ng yes kahit mali. Yung po si John. He is in prison because he boldly spoke the truth against Herod Antipas. At alam po natin yan yung storya. No, si Herod, ang pangasawa niya, yung asawa ng kanyang kapatid na si Philip. So, yun po ang sinabi ni John, uh, ni John na hindi tama yung kanyang ginawa at ang kainatnan niya ay kinatnan niya ay dun sa kulungan. No? John was not court prophet telling weights and powerful people what they want to hear. Kung ano yung nais nilang parinig, yun ang dapat nang sabihin, hindi po. Basta't mali, kasabihin po ito ang si John. <clears throat> he, was praying, he was paying a price for speaking the truth of God's word. Si John Dow was not a weakling, he was a strong man, a man of conviction. But he paid a price for his strong conviction. Meron daw mga time, panahon sa ating mga buhay when we stand up for the right things. Cause us comfort. And John was willing to do that. Comfortable niya siya na sabihin ang katotohanan. Tayo po kaya. Comfortable tayo sabihin ang katotohanan. Hindi. Okay. Masaktan si kapatid. But John, he will tell the truth magiging magkopos man ng pain but at the end ay magkakaroon ng healing doon sa pain I will send my messengers and daw itong potensya na ito combined doon sa Exodus at doon sa Malakai <clears throat> the passages are all identified as John's in the gospel John denied being Elijah in the flesh he came in the spirit and power of Elijah to be the forerunner of the Messiah. When Jesus turned to the crowd to speak of John, he calls him the greatest of all the prophets. Verse 20, he is the greatest person who ever lived because he is the forerunner of the Messiah. For runner of the Messiah, so Malachi 3 1. Yet Jesus takes the opportunity to add that the one who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than John. Siguro po ay makapag iisip tayo at iisipin natin, bakit mangyari ito? Paano mangyayari ito? Ang sabi, John is the greatest who ever lived. Then, Sabi ng Panginoon, who is this in the kingdom of God is greatest than John. No one who came before can compare with those who now have the privilege of living in the age of salvation and the spirit. <clears throat> John simply announced the kingdom, but we have the privilege of participating in it. Our privilege is greater, so is our responsibility. Greatest, greater daw po yung ating privilege, so is our responsibility. Jesus is talking about two different kinds of greatness. 
as far as good people go, John was the best. He was the best man we can be on his own. John faithfully declared the word. He was consistent in the way he lived his life. He possessed incredibly incredible humility as he stepped back and direct people attentions to Jesus. The pagtuturo po ni John is not directing people to himself. He is directing people to Jesus. Lord, at yun po yung, yung humility ito si John. No? Though John was very faithful in pointing to the coming <clears throat> kingdom, the person who put their trust and confidence is in Christ as the Lord and Savior of life is able to experience that kingdom. Yung pong kingdom na inipreach itong si John no? ay may experience daw po ng mga tao na no? natin yung kailang pagtiwala at confidence sa ating Panos Cristo bilang Panginoon at Tagapagligtas. This was a great blessing Sipin daw natin. Yun daw isang person who enjoy reading a book is not significant. Yun daw sa person who wrote the book. Hindi daw significant yung nagbabasa ng aklat kaysa doon sa sumulat ng aklat. At yun daw person who wrote the book kung yung daw book ay biography no? is not as great as the person being written about. Hindi daw siya great doon sa nilalaman ng book kung ang book ay biography ay hindi daw great as yung sumula kesa doon sa kanya is nula. No? Under the death and resurrection of Jesus, the door of eternal life was closed Jesus had the satisfactorily paid the penalty of sins of the cross before he could be restored to a right relationship to Dios. John died before that happened. Naganap daw yun. Bago daw naganap yun, si John ay namatay na. So, tiyak-tiyak natin na si John ay makakasama natin dun sa heaven. But while on earth, he was unable to attain what even the weakest person can gain the price. <clears throat> uh, yung po, yung God uses yung pong discomfort natin to develop our strength. And then third point. God uses our expectation to develop maturity. In other words, in another picture no, of unbelief, Luke point out that while the people, even itong mga tax collector, submitted to John's baptism of repentance, at sila po ay ready for Jesus' message of the kingdom. The religious leaders rejected John and hereby rejected God's plan sa kanilang mga buhay. No? The one for all baptism of repentance at which John called everyone king, though put to the original design for pagan converts to Judaism, they were never going to admit that there was anything wrong dung po sa kanilang ginagawa doon po sa kanilang pananampalataya wala daw pong uh, mali doon sa kanilang ginagawa at sa kanilang pananampalataya at nakapakita po natin dito yung kanilang pride no? ito pong mga pariseyo John preached that even religious Israel needed repentance and a commitment to this Jesus But the daw pong mga religious leader nito, re-reject nila yung mensahe no, patungkol sa ating Panasokristo. No? At 
Ito raw mga pariseo no? as they hear yung pong uh, pangaral ni John tungkol sa ating mga si Kristo ay nire-reject po nila yung mensahe for their own destruction. Huwag no? daw po tayo lumaya dito sa mga pariseo who refuse to admit that their religions might not be right after all these years. At kinungkara po ng ating Pansa Cristo yung present situation with children playing no? doon po sa verses 32. No? We played the flute for you and you did not dance we sung a dirge and you did not song. Meron daw isang grupo na tumutugtog ng food, no? At sila ay nagkaya upang yung mga kanilang ini-invite ay makipagsaya at sumayaw na may kagalakan. No? Maybe daw ito ay mga wedding feast. No? At pagkatapos, no? yung iba naman ay malungkot. No? They refuse na makihalo doon sa uh, tawag ng isa na joy o kagalakan but nag-switch daw yung, yung iba na magpatugtog ng mga uh, malungkot na kanta para yun sa mga sa funeral yung iba sa funeral yung tugtugan at ang ating Pansa so Kristo ay kinumparan niya dito sa namimigati mga children yung present situation John and Jesus opponents are like unhappy spoiled children who won't play either game because they cannot get anyone to do what they want yun daw kung ibang bata ayaw dun sa masaya ayaw din dun sa malungkot kasi hindi nila makuha yung kanilang gusto no? at ang ginagawa ng mga bata sabi mo po, sila ay nag-stop na ng mga pin. Pupunin na lang ng mga gamit at aalis na. Hindi na lang sasali kasi yung nais nila ay hindi nila makuha. When John came no, with his solemn call for mourning and repentance, the religious leader accused him of being demon-possessed. No? A madman. At nung dumating naman ang ating Panginoon sa Kristo with joyful announcement of God's kingdom and free forgiveness for sinners, inakus naman ang ating Panginoon sa Kristo of partying with the wrong crowds. No? Yung accusation is similar nung po sa rebellion, rebellious son nung sa Deuteronomy 21-20. So ito mga pariseo ay ayaw nila doon kay John. Ayaw din nila doon sa ating Pansok Kristo kasi hindi nila makuha yung nais nila. <clears throat> At meron pong uh, commentator na nilagay niya po ng ganito. They are impossible to please. Like winning o yung nagko-complain daw ng bata, yung childish. Children who stomp their feet and take their things and go home when they cannot make others do what they want. Pag nisan po ay ganun tayo. Marahin, hindi mo makuha yung gusto mo. Alis ka naman. Tampo na. Tampo na si kapatid. Kasi hindi na pagbigyan doon sa kanyang nais. No? Minsan ganoon po tayo mag-act. Childish. Hindi childlike. <laughs> Childish. No? <clears throat> so the Pharisees turned their nose up at the bread and water truths of John and now they are turning in disgust at the great feast Jesus offered. Their self-righteousness find fault in everything set before them. 
God's way here, wisdom personified in the Proverbs. At makita po natin doon sa Proverbs 8.32, yung right or justified by her children, yung kind of mga followers. Ito po mga tax collectors and sinners, no? joyfully receive God's salvation. This is a difficult sentence daw sa Greek. Yung it could read daw yung uh, here wisdom, God's way wisdom. Yung kung the proof daw of wisdom is the character of the people who hold it. The proof of wisdom is the character of people who holds it. In other words, Jesus is saying that those with wisdom, the pong mga tax collectors, the mga sinner, no, they accept joyfully yung pong offer na ating Panginoon for salvation. Not unlike the ito mga scripture saturated Pharisees. They are scripture saturated but they reject the offer of our Lord Jesus Christ yung pong salvation. At ito raw ay isang istanin that the religious leaders of Jerusalem of Jesus' day could not see that such a response was proof of God being at work. But believing is seeing. Doon daw sa mga pariseyo. We are not talking about lip service but a change in moral direction of one's life. Not taking care of our religious duties to cover daw yung ating mga sarili and then leaving any kind of way we want sa respo ng isang linggo. <clears throat> Jesus wanted the Pharisees to see that the problem was not kay John at sa ating Manso Cristo. Yung problema po ay nandun sa mga parisenyo. Sarado po yung kanilang isipan nun sa mga bagay patungkol sa Diyos. At marami daw sa mga tao sa kapanahon natin ngayon na pagaya daw ng mga parisenyo. There are some within the church who, who are never happy. Masaya po ba tayo? Nakikita na ako. Marami daw sa church, no? Who are never happy, no? They frequently change churches because the music of the church, the message of the church, and the people of the church. No? Hindi nila nakuha yung nais nila doon sa church, o yung awit ng church, yung preaching the church, ay lilipat sa yung church, ang nang salamitap na naman yung church, Tingin nila problema ang church, but later ang problema ay hindi yung church. Tayo yung may problema. You know? They say the church is too boring or it is too much like the world. The church sings too many hymns or not enough. You know? <clears throat> Sermons ay napakahaba, isang oras, may gitpa, at uh, masyado komplikado. Yung mga uh, salitang binititiwan ni Pastor, yung may tindihan. No? People of the church are not happy. They complain. No? It's not enough. So the people of the church aren't friendly enough or they don't think the people of the church are reverent enough. At makikita natin po, no? yung mga tao are generally, generally unhappy and miserable. Yung po yung ginagawa uh, ng Diyos sa atin, He is uses yung pong ating expectation para po maging mature tayo. You expected this, no? hindi pinagkalog, hindi niya lang o pinagkalog ng Panginoon, then huwag tayong uh, mag uh, magkaroon ng maling uh, impression, but first, isipin natin yung positive side ng mga kaganapan 
na ating mga pinagdadaan para ma-develop yung ating maturity. Hindi kagaya nung yung bata, sabi nga, madaling magtampo. At uh, hindi mo nabigyan ng ganito ay nagtatampo. Maraming po sa mga even sa matagal ng Christian no? ay madali po yung ano yung sabi ng tampo madali yung pagtampo nagtampo si kapatid sa so next Sunday, absent mo na siya <laughs> so when, when things, no, yung hindi po mamit yung ating expectation no? uh, uh, tingnan po natin doon sa ask your side, kung ano po yung nais na ang Panginoon sa atin. At, para po sa conclusion, yung doubt daw po is not a sin. Unbelief is sin. Yung doubt po at saka yung unbelief are not a same thing. Yung doubt is a matter of the mind. It means we cannot grasp something. Hindi natin makuha lahat. Hindi natin mag-grasp. No? God and His way are bigger and more profound than we can grasp. Sometimes that leaves us confused. Agenda of unbelief is a matter of the will. It is a refusal to believe what is clearly understood about God. Ang sabi po nito si Oswald Stinger, no, sinulat po niya, Doubt is not always a sign that a man is wrong. It may be a sign that he is thinking. Hindi <laughs> po daw sign na yung tao ay laging mali kapag mayroon siyang nag-doubt siya. Uh, maraming daw ito ay sinyalis ng tao ay nag-iisip. <laughs> Kung kaya meron siya daw. When, when the times of doubt come and they will come, our job is to return to the Lord in prayer and look to the Word of God with fresh eyes. Gaya po na ginawa ng ating friends of Christo no? kay John. Jesus directed John to me. Instead of, instead of concluding God is not faithful sa ating mga buhay o sa mga sitwasyon na ating mga pinagdadaan, it is better to conclude that our understanding is limited. Living faithfully does not guarantee a smooth or easy life. John was one of the most faithful men who ever lived and he died after landing in the dungeon in the dungeon desperado po siya sa dungeon na siya po ay namatay when we live fully for Christ we will become po daw yung tayo daw yung target ng devil at even yun daw pong ating mga mensahe the devil will seek to knock us out of the boat of faith by sending waves of adversity our way. There will be people who criticize us. There will be people who try to exert pressure. That would be social, economic, or even physical. No? We must remind ourselves that we are citizens of a better country. We are here in Christ and we will live even though we die. We may not always know the detail of our journey. No, hindi man daw natin alam ang lahat ng detalye ng ating journey or clearly see where the trials is leading but God is always give us enough light to take the next step. God uses our uncertainty to develop it. God uses His homework to develop our strength. And God uses our expectation 
to develop my children. Heavenly Father, we thank you for thy goodness. Salamat to God for reminding us that you are not limited, you are limited to our understanding. We're being praying that the Holy Spirit of God continue to illuminate, to remind us. Sa iyong mga salita, even Lord, sa mga circumstances o may mga sitwasyon na aming pinagdadaan ng mga na makita po namin yung positive side nito yung negative side po ka and we know God ano po yung magandang result as you kami po ay itinawin po sa mga sitwasyon nito Lord, help us Panginoon, patuloy na magkiwala sa iyo, patuloy na sa iyo lang o Diyos ilalang po sa aming lahat ng sa aming because you are a sovereign God who knows everything even our future even to everything of God thank you and praise you Lord for 